networking engine for PHP. Basically, PHP has a native PHP uh, template uh, engine that you can use, but it's not very friendly. And there are other templating engines out there. It just makes PHP a lot easier to use with HTML or just clear uh, something cleaner. Okay, just like you see in these curly brackets here. This is just a little bit of Blade. All right, so. Blade, let's start by creating a master template with Blade, all right? Let me show you how useful Blade can be. And um, as you can see here, we have created a contact page, a post page, and we have just too much HTML, all right? Imagine if we wanted to have a different um, navigation for each of these pages or different content. We will have to go ahead and copy and paste this, uh, this stuff over and over again. What if we wanted to have the same navigation? All right, we will have to copy and paste the same navigation over and over again, right? That's what we use includes in PHP, right? We use the, the keyword include, the, the function include or require, and then we include certain things in our HTML from, and we break it down with header, footer, navigation, whatever, into different files, right? Well, we can do something a little bit cooler in Laravel, all right? So I'm gonna create a new PHP file with a directory. So a directory with a new PHP file. I'm going to call this directory layouts forward slash and let's just name it app.php. Actually app.blade.php. All right. And this app is very um, popular between developers. This is what even Laravel uses. All right. The name of that file app. That would be probably the master page, all right? Not probably, that would be the master page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a question mark and then tab to create a layout. Now, what I wanna do is, in reality, if you're using Bootstrap, you will have something like this. Diff that call that is sits actually container and then enter. Okay, so you will have a container and here you will have some type of content, right? So what you can do with Blade is this. You can put an add symbol and, and use this function called yield. And then here you can put, let's say, content, all right? And here you could do something like this, yield and Yield is doing exactly what it's actually saying, yielding, all right? We could do the footer down here, and I'll show you in a minute. So, let's go to, let's say, the contact page. All right? So, this is the contact page right here. Let's just take all this HTML out. And I'm going to say extends on top here. I'm going to use another function. And I'm going to extend the layouts that app. And that's it. I don't have to type in the blade in the .php, all right? I don't have to type that in. Now, this is going to be extending. It's going to be including, basically, this all this template right here, everything, all right? So let's go back here. And now, in order for us to get this here, whatever whatever is in between this container, I'll show you in a minute, we have to use another function called section and put the name that we put in this yield functionality right here, which is content in that section here. So we can say content. Now we have to close it, all right? We can say, we can say something like end section, or we can even say stop if we wanted to, like this. All right. Now, this is the contact page, right? So I could say something like contact page here. All right. Now let's copy this real quick and let's take it to that post page and paste it in there and do post page in here, right? So now if we visit
contact enter if we do a uh, view page source you can see that all that is included in there so what is the beauty of doing this is that we don't have all that HTML and each page is different so for just in case here let's say for example in this contact page I want to display some JavaScript right I can say something like section this is a section for the footer and stop here I want to display some JavaScript so I'm gonna write script tag and I'm gonna say alert hello visitor now let me go to the post controller here real quick all right show post so if I go to the contact page and I type in enter you can see that I that I get this JavaScript but if I go to post well I have to type a variable it's not gonna work because we don't have that variable in there all right post let's just put the variable in there and make it work ID then we do the name and then we do the password right make sure that you put the dollar symbols again uh, blade is not going to do that for us all right so we gotta let blade know that they are variables all right so now if we go back to it we should be able to see that all right post that and this and that there we go as you can see there all right so now you can see that we can only use what we need in certain pages so if we need an alert in contact page we have it if we need variables in the other page we don't have to include it all right so this is why blade is so useful in the next lecture I'm gonna show you some more examples with blade that you are going to love I can guarantee you that and you can do create multiple layouts if you want a layout for admin go ahead and do it all right anyway thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lecture keep having some more some fun all right guys